Yo, what the deal? This your man Frank Dutch right here. I'm back at y'all with another video, man. And today, man, I want to do an update to this video I did because y'all was clowning me. Before we do, don't forget to like, share, comment, and subscribe. Ring that bell so you can stay up on everything that we doing, man. I'm going to show y'all how to connect one of these and use it with Fruity Loops, man. Let's go. All right, so I'm going to get my glasses for this right here because we finna get real technical. You feel what I'm saying? Now, listen. Usually when you plug the MIDI controller in, this happens. But let's say if it don't. Oh, my God. What if it doesn't? Oh, my God. This is what you do. You want to go up to Options. And you want to go over to MIDI set settings. Now, you may have, depending on your computer, you may have a few different options right here. But what you want to do is you want to make sure that the MIDI controller that you have plugged up is powered on. And you want to come down here and click Enabled. Now, um, another thing you want to make sure of, too, is all right, mine says generic controller right here. But yours may actually be in here. Now, if it's on this list, your MIDI controller is on this list, um, select it, man, because it's probably MIDI routed to like all of the play buttons and all that type of stuff. That's pretty much how you do it, man. That's how you get to it. That's how you find it. Make sure you got this on right here. Um, and also make sure you like, share, comment, and subscribe, man. Ring that bell because I make this video better and straight to the point for y'all, man. <laughs> y'all be cool. How y'all be cool, man? Peace. Saying I talk too much, bitch. <laughs>